This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Lavinia. Welcome back to Lavinia Automation Lab. So guys, uh, this is uh, chapter number three for uh, PyTest. And today we are going to talk about what is PyTest fixtures, which is very, very important. In the previous uh, section, in the previous video, you've already seen that how to write uh, Selenium test cases with uh, PyTest. And you can see that we have written uh, multiple test cases over here and how to execute them with the help of PyTest. But you see that uh, this is quite ugly, right? This is like for every time we have to open the browser and then we have to initialize the driver and then put an implicit weight or any kind of preconditions that we have to do. Every time we have to do it over here like that. And again, we have to repeat the URL and a driver instance or like that. So let's see today you're working on some uh, Amazon.com or any kind of uh, application. So the prerequisites are that, okay, you have to launch the browser, either it is Chrome or Firefox, and then accordingly, you have to write your test cases. So we have certain preconditions and pre uh, requisites are there. So in a typical, uh, if you talk about uh, XC unit test cases that we generally write it, that we have, uh, we write up before test, and then we have a number of test cases we write it over here like that. And then we finally write our tear down method. So this is a typical method is called setup method, right? Like just like in test ng, we have a before method and before test is available. So here everything, you know, your setup method, we have to do it. Your initialize with the driver, database connection, or whatever you want to do, you can do it. That is not your test cases, but that is my initial setup. Then we have different test cases are written over here. What with the assertion, with the test steps and everything. And then finally, you have to write your driver dot quit. That is your a tier uh, down method, right guys? That is the tier down method that we have to write it. So the sequence like this setup method, then it will execute all these test cases and then your uh, driver dot quit or tier down method will be executed. So this is a typical what XC unit test cases format that we write it. But okay, but for every test we have to execute the setup method. So this is the first way of doing it. Okay, you can do that another way if you really don't want to maintain any setup or tear down method you can write this is my first test case launch the browser and then enter the url this is my second test case third test case this is quite lengthy and ugly so i'm going to talk to you about two things today one is how to define xc unit test cases with the help of setup and tear down okay with the help of typical uh, you know without fixture and then we will convert this entire stuff with the help of fixture so how to do this so very interesting uh, uh, concept and uh, let's see how exactly we can use this feature. So let me erase this particular drawing and I'm going to do one thing that I'm going to create a in this particular. Uh, I'm going to create a Python file and let's see I'm going to create that test underscore. Uh, let's see Google underscore test. Okay, something like this. I'm going to write it. You click on OK and um, do one thing that I'm going to import a couple of things from here. OK, so that I don't need to import it again and again. And then I have to import PyTest as well, that uh, PyTest. Then I'm going to create one setup method. So I'll write, I'll be writing setup underscore module. OK, method, I'll be uh, writing it like this. And then what is the parameter that you have to pass? So let's say I'm going to pass one module parameter you have to write for your setup method. Then what I'm going to do that, OK, I'm declaring one uh, global driver variable which is uh, right now is equal to none okay and uh, i'll do one thing this uh, i'll make it globally over here a global variable driver over here it means whatever the driver that you are using it can be used with a different method as well and then i'm going to write driver is equal to you have to write your web driver right dot um, chrome and then i'll be using chrome driver manager Okay, a dot install, and then I'll be using let's see some weight over here that implicitly weight I want to apply driver dot implicitly weight of uh, 10 seconds. And if you really want to apply, let's see some uh, delete all the cookies or something that also you can do that. And then I'm going to write let's see driver dot um, uh, let's see get method. I'm going to create my URL, uh, enter my URL www dot let's see google dot com or whatever. Here application doesn't matter. We just need to define the format of the test. Now I'm going to create one more method that is called tear down method. That is tear down underscore module we have to write. 
and then you have to pass a module parameter over here please like that and uh, what do you want one driver dot okay quit you have to write it over here like that so driver dot quit so these are the uh, two methods setup method and the tear down method that i have created please don't change the method name this is the exact keyword you have to write setup underscore module and tear down underscore module you have to write now what i'm going to do i'm going to create two test cases let's see test underscore <clears throat> sorry test underscore uh, google underscore title okay something like this and i'm going to write one assertion that okay hey driver dot uh, title is equal to it should be equal to something like this google this is my first test and i'm going to write one more test over here that uh, the second test is let's see google uh, let's see <clears throat> i want to verify the url okay so i simply say that okay current url driver dot current url and whatever the current url i know this is the wrong url i'm simple passing let's see google.com so one test will be failed here and the second test uh, will be uh, should be passed this title should be passed so let's uh, run it and let's see how exactly it is working or not so i'll go into terminal and over here let me just clear the console and uh, what i'm going to do that i'm going to run it now <laughs> so you see you will see these green icon also you can execute directly from here okay or you can directly execute right click on it and run pytest also you can do that or with the command line also you can do that so you simply write uh, pytest minus v okay minus v means i want more output on the console more verbose and then if any print statement is there use minus s and then you write your file name so let's see my file name is uh, uh, that is uh, test underscore uh, google test dot py then you run it you will see that okay yeah <clears throat> so let's see browse it's getting launched you can see that and it's perfect and you see that uh, one test is got failed one test is got passed which one got failed the url got failed obviously because this is a wrong expectation so i'll do one thing this is the current url is coming i'll do one thing i'll exactly copy paste over here and then i'll run it again right so let's run it again and let's see what happens so again google is getting launched and it will execute title and url and this time two test cases got passed you can see that okay this is also passed and another one is also I mean, two test cases got passed over here without any problem. Now, um, one more thing I would like to introduce here today that we can generate PyTest uh, HTML file also. I mean, HTML report also we can generate. So for that purpose, what you need to do is simply write over this particular package, pip install, and you simply write PyTest HTML over here. This package is already available in my system. So that's why it's saying requirement already satisfied, but it will install uh, PyTest HTML uh, uh, package or module in your project and then later on what exactly you do you simple do one thing that uh, execute this particular command run your test cases with the html so how will you do that that let's see this is pytest minus uh, we need uh, what is the file name which is my file name is uh, test okay underscore google minus v minus s and then hyphen hyphen html is equal to you have to tell your uh, file name let's see i simply say that okay uh, google sorry uh, google underscore test underscore report dot html and then you run it so your test cases will be executed and you will it will generate the html report as well okay so you will see that okay two test cases got passed and you see that okay you go to your project directory and you see somewhere that uh, report.html got generated over here so right click on it and uh, do one thing that copy path and open in your browser so i'm going to copy over here paste over here and then you see the report can you see that two test cases got passed you can see the results also the capture logs and everything you can simply see that and you can filter it out and you can check it okay on where is your java home and other things are available environment variables and all those things you can simply see that okay now the thing is this is a typical way of uh, writing your test cases with the help of typical xa unit for every uh, you know testing framework provide 
provides such kind of uh, structure, you can write your uh, setup, tear down, and then respective test cases will be executed. It means this particular setup method will be executed before all the test cases. And then the tear down method will automatically execute it before all your, uh, after all your test cases. And then you can write n number of test cases over here. And the same thing we used to do it in test ng and j unit, we have to write at the rate test annotation, at the rate test annotation for multiple test cases. So this is the basic typical part. Same thing you can do with the unit test also or in Python, but we are using PyTest. Although we are not using these two imports. So unnecessary imports, guys, you can remove it. We are not using time also. So like that. Now, what I'm going to do that I'm going to use a typical use of fi uh, fixtures over here. Right now, we are not using uh, fixtures, right? So let's see how to do that. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not using any fixture decorator or annotations over here. So what I'm going to do that, okay, I'm going to create one more file over here. And uh, okay, let's create one more file. Python file and this time I'm going to create a test underscore uh, Google underscore uh, fixture. Right. And I'll do one thing, this exact code I'll just copy paste. I'm just going to modify a little bit. Okay. Now, what do you just need to do that? Um, see, this is the driver equal to none. This is fine. Global driver, this is fine. I want that, okay, hey, this particular method should be declared with a fixture decorator. Simple write decorator. Decorator annotation, both are same thing. You simple write pytest dot. Uh, fixture and you have to tell what is the scope. The scope we have to define is equal to module scope. There are other scopes also. In the next session, I'll tell you what do you mean by scope equal to uh, class also I'll tell you later. At the class level also, you can define the scope like that. So right now the scope is equal to module level scope. And uh, this is a method name. Let's see, I'm going to uh, uh, define, let's see, this is my initialize driver in it, a uh, driver over here. And we don't need to pass module parameter over here. You can remove this. The rest of the things will remain same. Let's see, uh, like this, which is good. Tear down also, which is good. If you really want to print something, you can write a print over here that, okay, uh, uh, let's see, print. I'll write something that is, let's see, this is my uh, setup. And uh, for this guy, and this is my tear down. Okay, like this, we can do that. But now this initialize driver and tear down module, we don't need to write two separate methods. We can combine them together. So just remove this particular method name. And what do you do? You simply write one keyword that is called yield keyword. Okay, just yield. So a fixture, what exactly it will do that? Okay, this is a method. It will read the driver over here. It will initialize the driver and everything until here this code will behave like a precondition for you and then yield means so this particular code will be executed before all the test cases and after yield means this particular code will be executed after all the test cases like that you can do that okay so you don't need to write two uh methods over here like setup method separately and tear down method separately so you can create this entire fixture and you can use you can apply this particular fixture on any specific method. So let's say I want to apply this particular fixture name is initialize driver and I want to apply over here. So you simply write initialize driver and initialize driver over here. So likewise, you can create multiple fixtures with a different uh, uh, set of uh, setup methods and the tear down method. And then you can apply that particular fixture in your respective test methods. OK, so that's it. And let's see it is working or not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to terminal and uh, clear the console <coughs> and I simply write that test and uh, the file name is I'm going to write uh, test underscore Google underscore fixture. Okay. Okay, I think uh, test. Sorry. Okay, fixer dot py and uh, I want to use minus V minus S is used to if you really want to print the print statement, whatever you are printing on the console. Okay, whatever you're printing over here, right? On the console, if you really want to show, you have to use minus S for that. Minus B means that I want more verbose results, more information on the console in the result. And uh, then if you really want to use HTML, so simple write HTML is uh, equal to whatever that we have used. HTML hyphen hyphen HTML is equal to, sorry, is equal to whatever the name you want to give. Let's see this time I'm going to give test underscore uh, Google underscore uh, fixture dot 
uh, underscore report dot html right so let's see it is working or not so yeah test is getting executed two tests will be executed and uh, yeah two test cases got passed you can see that right guys and uh, you can see this report got generated over here right click on it uh, and uh, copy the path open a new tab and let's see the report is coming or not yeah perfect the report is absolutely coming you can see that okay uh, test google title and test google url coming from this particular python file both are absolutely working fine you can see the logs and uh, everything you can see it over here like that now <clears throat> let's see i'll make one test deliberately fail one one so one test okay will throw assertion error and this particular test will be failed so let's see how exactly it will be shown in the report so let's run it again it's opening the browser yeah it's done and let's refresh the same page it will overwrite the previous report and now you can see that okay out of uh, two test cases one got passed one got failed and uh, you can see the assertion error result over here and uh, you can see the report and uh, the proper with the proper assertion error and the logs and everything you can check it over here like that okay so this is a typical report generated by uh, report.html what is the name that you are giving generated by the pytest html module now another thing also you can do it guys that uh, okay you have two choices either you write the fixture name inside the bracket of your test method what else you can do is that if you really don't want to use it like this what you can do is uh, you can directly write one annotation over here okay let's see at the rate uh, pytest dot you can define some marker decorator as i told you in the last session you can define some marker and then you simply write dot use fixtures and what is your fixture name so i simply say that okay hey my fixture name is uh, let's see initialize a driver so you have to pass initialize driver over here so same thing for this guy and same thing for this guy as well now in this case we don't need to pass initialize driver in the bracket that you can avoid okay so let's see and uh, it's working or not let's run it again <clears throat> so i'll go to terminal and uh, run it again okay this time i make it uh, once again speaking to google so both the test cases should be passed okay so yeah i think two test cases got passed and let's see the result refresh the same file once again and you can see that okay two test cases got passed this time once again like that right so this is how we can simply use uh, the fixtures guys it's a very good feature a lot of code you can minimize and a lot of fixtures combinations you can create for your different test cases you can write it like this and you just need to concentrate now on your respective test method and apply keep applying the fixtures over here and you can simply uh, do that in that case okay so that's all for this particular video so in this video we have learned about uh, how to first of all if you really want to follow this particular pattern you can also follow this this is also a kind of uh, a setup and tear down fixtures that we are using it if you really want to use uh, at the rate a pytest fixture in the form of uh, like uh, initialization in the yield in the same method if you really want to use that you can use that with this approach you can minimize a lot of code unnecessary and later on i'll tell you some more approaches you can define a scope is equal to class also at the class level also you can do that and you just need to concentrate on your test cases and keep increasing your test cases over here like that and then we have uh, seen how to generate the html report as well and then we have seen how to write the fixtures like that so thank you for watching this particular video please practice let me know if you have any issues download pytest and start writing your test cases very soon we are going to start our page object model series i think i'll be preparing uh, one or two more videos on fixtures and then then later on we will uh, start a page object model with python with selenium thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video please subscribe to this channel and if you have any issues uh, let me know thank you so much